The movie begins at Orion's school where the boy is typically anxious of just about everything. He is afraid he will flood the school after flushing the loo. He is worried his teacher will ask him to answer questions in class. He is terrified of the school bully. And he is afraid of speaking to his secret crush, a girl named Sally, in case she rejects him. When Orion returns home, his parents find out about the upcoming school field trip to the planetarium. Orion is scared to go, but his mom tells him to face the fear and do it anyway. These words of advice don't do much to give him courage, however. That night, while lying in the dark, the physical embodiment of Dark, whose name is Dark, enters his room. Dark tells Orion he is tired of listening to his screams of fear every night and tries to convince him that he's a good guy and not a bad guy. Orion is understandably scared of this nighttime visitor, but when Dark invites him to experience what the nighttime is really like, to prove that it isn't as scary as he thinks, Orion decides to go. Before we join Orion and Dark on their nighttime excursion, the movie cuts to a future scene. In this scene, we are introduced to a girl named Hypatia who is also scared of the dark. Her father is the older Orion and he is telling her a bedtime story to ease her fears. What is this story about? His adventure with Dark, which forms the main part of the movie's narrative. So does this mean Orion didn't really meet Dark? Is the older Orion making up a bedtime tale to help his daughter get to sleep? Possibly, but before we have time to think upon this, we head back into the middle of the story, where the younger Orion is flying through the night sky with Dark. During the flight, Orion is terrified of heights, the water below, and the fireworks that are lighting up the night sky. Presumably, he's also fearful of falling, which unfortunately happens when he slips off Dark's back. Thankfully, Orion doesn't come to an early end, a good job really considering he's also scared of death, as Dark manages to catch him. We are then introduced to a few new characters, including the physical embodiment of Light, who is Dark's archenemy. We also meet Dark's friends who help him on his nighttime rounds. These entities are known as insomnia, quiet, sleep, unexplained noises, and sweet dreams. In their own way, they either help the world's population go to sleep or, in the case of insomnia and unexplained noises, keep them awake. Over time, Orion realizes he is no longer afraid of the night. This is partly thanks to Dark, whom Orion grows closer to. When the nighttime entities turn against Dark after a disagreement with him, Orion overcomes his fear of public speaking by giving a speech explaining Dark's value. Despite giving a pretty decent speech, the entities decide to quit their roles as they no longer want to work with Dark in the nighttime. Some of them want to experience life with light instead as they think they will have a better time this way. When the entities leave for lighter pastures, Dark becomes sad and worried. He is scared he will be all by himself when Orion returns home. Orion is left alone, much to the frustration of Hypatia, who is listening to the story the older Orion is telling her. He tells her he doesn't know how the story ends, which suggests he isn't talking to her about his real-life childhood experiences. After going on a nighttime walk with her father in which she shows a conquering of her own fears, Hypatia has an idea of where the story could go. We are then sent back into the past, or into Hypatia's imagination, when she inserts herself into her father's wondrous tale. In this part of the story, Hypatia meets the younger Orion who is very surprised to meet his future daughter. She reads out a poem about dark and light and how the nighttime has benefits the daytime doesn't have. Her words cause the entities to return, but dark doesn't follow. Sweet Dreams has an idea of how to get Dark back. He is reunited with Dark in his dream, but his fears get in the way and cause a black hole to open up. Dark is almost sucked into the abyss, but he is saved when quiet whispers into Orion's ears and reminds the boy that he might miss the field trip. You would think this reminder would open up another fear, but as Orion is afraid of missing time spent with his Sally, his crush on the trip, he wakes up with Dark alongside him. Dark takes Orion home and they say their sad goodbyes. But while they are feeling down because they are saying farewell to one another, there is happiness too. This is because Orion has overcome some of his fears, including the upcoming field trip, and Dark has conquered his insecurity about children not liking him. Shortly after, we cut to the future at a time when Orion is an old man and Hypatia has a child of her own. Hypatia is relaying the story of the younger Orion to her son. This is to help him conquer his fear of the dark. Outside sits Orion and his wife. Who is this woman? It's Sally who we see in a flashback with Orion on the planetarium field trip. He overcame his fear of talking to Sally and eventually marry her. Anybody fearful that the movie wouldn't have a happy ending can now sleep peacefully, unless they are also afraid of the dark and are plagued by the entity known as Insomnia.